Libra, hi, welcome to your March 2016 Tarot Scope reading with me. Hi guys, thanks for joining me on this journey. We are using the Morgan Greer cards because I'm um, a particular fan and follower of colour vibration energy and these cards really offer that in a big way. We are also doing a slightly different format for the month, seven cards. I will run through the meanings of them with you as we work through the reading. I am also using the crystals of the month because March is... Um, a pretty full-on month for many reasons, most of which are sort of galactic or universal energies. First of all, we have two eclipses in March, one on the 9th, which is a total solar eclipse, and one on the 24th, which is a partial lunar eclipse. We have also just walked into the Chinese New Year astrology as such in mid-February, and we move into the year of the monkey. Now 2016 is the year of the fire monkey and he is unfortunately not the best one, he is an agitated creature. So this year will have energies of agitation around it so it's best for us to learn how to work with them and through them. You'll know by now that I have very um, firm belief that eclipses are powerful, powerful things that happen within our um, psyche and our beings. They affect us hugely for at each individual at different levels and reasons, but it can be for weeks or months either side of the eclipses. So we also are using the um, stones of the month and you've got there the beautiful moonstone and amethyst and those two colours that purple or mauve and white an absolute glorious pairing of colours but also when I thought about it when I put them together they're very much the traditional religious colours you know that the Pope or the Catholic uh, organisations wear they wear that um, mauve and white a lot Moonstone is a stone of new beginnings and healings. It's very good for some physical ailments. It's good for helping um, nightmares or dream problems or insomnia. So it can be worth having under your pillow and or by your bed at night. It has rainbow effects in it as well. It's a beautiful soothing stone to look at. And this amethyst, we all know amethysts are very healing. Um, calming, soothing, uplifting, loving, cathartic stones and I thought I would use this ball energy and I don't often put it in but you guys have managed to get this one it's rather attractive. Now balls are um, shaped from larger pieces of crystal and they may well have planes or flaws within them and I think you can clearly see the planes and flaws in here and they're used for um, connecting with past and future energies and sort of focusing on them and figuring out what is the best way forward and what has happened in the past and how to align them all together and bring balance and of course Libra you are the sign of balance and harmony. So with no further ado let us shuffle the cards and see what's in store for you guys. So this is for Libra, March 2016. If you can hear any sort of like <laughs> hissing noise or some sort of strange noise in the background, it is full summer here in New Zealand and I live in a very leafy suburb surrounded by great big giant oak trees among other things and the cicadas are in full sing or song and um, they go night and day practically and they're very very noisy and there's no way around it so we just learn to love the sound of the summer cicadas it's part of an Auckland summer um, yeah so that's the noise in the background and you just have to listen through them because it's too hot to not have my window open. So here we are Libra, 
for March 2016. Seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, I'm liking the look of your reading, you guys. Let me just reorganize these a bit and I'll zoom out if I can pan out and focus down a little bit. There we are. Let's have a look at the color. I'm getting predominantly, you know, a yellowy, orangey tone. This seems to be coming through a lot in this reading, and that, if we're thinking of it, you can enhance. Um, that vibration by wearing those color clothes, so yellowy orange clothes, eating those type of foods, and they are the solar plexus and the sacral chakra energy. So by strengthening those two energy um, chakra wheels, or those physical areas of your body, so such as um, through the waist and down lower, you bring strength into your life both at the physical and the metaphysical level so the first card is your current situation the second are your obstacles the third is your aspiration the fourth is your what needs to be awakened the fifth is what lies behind you the sixth is the next stage and the seventh is what will be one major arc or two major arcana cards and as it so happens it's two of the nicer ones or the <laughs> lighter ones one might say so your reading looks um, scintillating I think many people might have enjoyed getting this reading themselves let's start over here with the beginning card the magician as you start it's called the current situation how magical to get him as your first card, the first, the number one of the deck in this position. Perfect. I don't even really need to say any more. He is the opportunity, the universe is awakening and offering you magic in your life. Now, I think the eclipses are Aries and Libra eclipses, so it makes sense. Possibly this eclipse will have a really good positive effect for you guys one way or another it might be offering you a nice hand in life as it as it moves you and propels you forward so when the magician turns up you can be assured that there will be magical opportunities that are presented to you in many areas because every single aspect of all the four um, areas are covered off here so what I do say to people is you have to be really aware of these opportunities when they come past it's like standing at a bus stop and seeing the bus in the distance knowing that it's coming but you don't bother to wave it down and hop on board and then you go oh hell I just missed the bus so be aware of these opportunities coming you have to feel it you have to groove into it you have to be awake to it everything and don't let the opportunities go by so this is finances, romance, relationships, health, um, intuition, connection, spiritual, anything you like, it's the opportunity is there for you. As I say, magical. The next card is obstacles and he is looking sort of ahead. Now this could be a person in your life and it could be an ear sign person and it could be a man of moderate age so whether it's a friend or a romantic relationship or a sibling or a person in your family or a work colleague he could be creating an obstacle one way or another and somehow it's your job to work around it and resolve it and sort it out now they're often um, you're an ear sign anyhow so it could even be yourself you might be your own worst obstacle at the moment but you know that ear signs can use words for their um, to their benefit and their detriment they're quite can be caustic or caustic <sighs> caustic with their words so it would be about communication and doing it in the right manner so if there are areas coming up where you need to communicate in any of those areas I have mentioned you need to do it with a little more diplomacy and some consideration for the other person and listen 
because it's not always about talking, it's about listening. So that might be the message I'm getting here for your obstacle. Um, do some listening, not all the talking. Okay, and number three is your aspiration. And she's the Queen of Pentacles looking out again. You've got quite a lot of activity looking forward into kind of um, April and onwards maybe. And you've also got a lot of people because you've got Knight, Queen and Page. So there's other people involved in your reading, not just yourself. So it's not focused entirely on yourself. This Queen of Pentacles is an Earth sign usually and usually a woman. And again can be an older woman. So she could, and this is your aspiration, she could be for some of you a partner that you want and that you're trying to connect with. And this could be a romantic partner, a friendship partner, or a business partner. Um, she is a wonderful person to have in your life. And often, you know, just warm, caring, supportive, nurturing, knowledgeable. Um, and financially, she could be quite stable. So this could even be the potential for a business liaison or partnering up that you're contemplating or looking at, or career. Um keep focusing on it, keep working through it and I think these two are somehow associated so the communication you might have with this person could be really important and the way you communicate so bear that in mind if this is your aspiration. And the fourth, it could also be just you have this aspiration to um, you know, balance your finances or have them flowing or be stable. We, of, course, of course we come across here and we've got the more finances again so they, those two cards are leading into each other the third and the fourth and this is what needs to be awakened and ooh, he is um, he is looking back into the past with this finances and the page of pentacles is often about um, offers of money or jobs or career opportunities or contemplating you know how to get your finances to a certain place so maybe there's something in the past that you either reconsider or reconnect with that that is um, associated with your finances one way or another so you need to go back somehow and um, reconnect again and because it's number four and it's what needs to be awakened yeah whether whether you're looking for money or looking for jobs or trying to balance something out in your money it feels that that's possibly a key thing here and maybe something going back in time and it might not be that far it might just be a month or two if you go back you might be able to trace the the issue or um, ponder upon something that you did back in time that can re-establish moving forward to get this money cycle flowing again the next card is what lies behind you, which is quite nice here. There's, there's this feeling of that you've felt as though you might have lost something and it could have been something you treasured or that was close to your heart or that you had invested time and energy into and it has departed and you're a little bit sad about that but you forget of what's left behind, all this love and nurture and knowledge and caring and support. You know, if we, if we lift our focus from small areas and look more broader and open our perspective we see so much more and our troubles are lessened and lightened so when he lifts his head and looks up he will see a whole new journey ahead he will see a new destination and if he turns around he will still see support and um, opportunities abound for him it's just that this particular area of his life is departed and this has gone for you so look forward uh, there's a wonderful saying and it's um, that there is no future in the past and I think that's really poignant with that card look forward because there's no point in holding on to the past or staying there or or trying to reinvent it it's gone and we move into the future every moment of the day so the sixth card, the next stage, wow, <laughs> the Nine of Cups, the Wish card, what more could you want? It's, it's classified as the Wish card, you know, this magician and the Wish card turning up in the positions they did, 
it's wonderful. You have this opportunity to bring stuff into your life now. If you really focus on it, meditate on it, visualize it, dream it, be passionate about it, you've got opportunities occurring for you, Libra. I think, as I said, everyone would love this reading. It's powerful, it's universal energies, you have some sort of um, extra support, your helpers, your spirit guides, angels or something looking over you. It's a wonderful card and this is what the next stage will be. Really focus on it, um, make wishes and be passionate about them and get them into action and kickstart them and know that it's a good time that some of these things might happen for you. And then what will be? Well, the lovers. And you know, it's an interesting thing, but it doesn't turn up very often in readings, the lovers card. You might think it's got as much chance as any other card, but we very rarely actually see it. So this is about soulmates. It's about connection. It's about passion and sexuality, fertility, conception, adm admiration close connected joy and harmony it, it, it holds all of those beautiful resonant energies um, it can turn up when there is the possibility of an affair like you having to make a choice there could be another person involved somewhere in a close relationship that's another possibility for the card there is also from the perspective of a business um, liaison so it can be the making of a very close business connection and it's interesting that the Queen of Pentacles is looking into this picture and tied up in here somehow so what part she actually plays will be really interesting um, so whether or not this turns out to be some sort of business opportunity or you know close business connection with her somehow or whether she's partly involved in this I don't know That'll be something for you guys to think about. So you have a wonderful reading. Really enjoyable. And I hope you all enjoy it too. So um, I will move these cards aside. And we will take the Goddess cards. And I could pick any number here. But I'm going to pick the 6. I'm going to draw the 6th card down for you. From the Goddess cards. So I will shuffle and see what message comes out for you. So this is for Libra and it will be the sixth card down. What goddess energy do they want to offer up? Let's have a look. You can hear all sorts of banging going on out here. <laughs> A busy month ahead, as we say. A busy month. Okay. Sixth card. One, two, three, four, five. Butterfly maiden. Transformation. Wow, how beautiful. You are experiencing enormous change right now which brings great blessings absolutely and that matches with so much of your um, your I'm just trying to find it now the, the magician in particular they match really really well so Libra there is great opportunity for you and great opportunity for transformation in all areas, I mean, it's a beautiful card to have received. Really lovely, positive, new energy for you. And I felt that with this March coming and the eclipses. So guys, I hope you have really enjoyed this reading. It's one out of the hat for you. So thank you for joining me and I wish you all a wonderful, transformative March ahead with much magic. Ka kitia noa, much aroha, namaste.